The third scenario where you're going to be asked to graph uh, straight lines is when you're given a linear equation. Now, I want you to be also aware that uh, when you're given a linear equation, you're going to encounter four different linear equations. The first uh, linear equation that you're going to encounter is going to look something like this, x equal a number. And you're going to be asked a question something like this, graph the line represented by the equation x equal 2. Now, don't forget, like I have mentioned several times before, that the basic idea to draw a line is to get two points. And remember, every point has an X and a Y, an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. Now, if I want to draw the line that is represented by this equation, X equal 2, I have information from the equation that will let me start drawing the line. And what do I know? I know that x is equal to. So it means that every x coordinate of each of these points is going to be 2. Now, I'm missing the y coordinates. And I have no information about the y coordinates. However, I don't really need it in this case because this equation is telling me that any point on the line, the x coordinate is always 2. And that gives me leeway to choose whatever y coordinates I want uh, for each of my points here. I like to always use 0 as one of my coordinates. So 0 for the y coordinate of my first point. And I'm going to choose any other number, whatever number you like. In this case, I chose negative 4 randomly. And look, I have two points to draw the line. I'm ready to draw the line. Don't forget that these two points, sometimes they will be written or set up in table format as a table of values. And the first point, that will be 2, 0, start at the center of the coordinate plane, the origin. Move 2 to the right and don't move up or down stay there every time you have a point on the x axis on the horizontal number line we call that the x intercept and then let's plot the second point we start at the origin we're going to go two to the right and then we're going to go four down and that's why i place my second point and the moment I have two points, I can connect it with a straight line. Now look, this line is very unique. It's a vertical line. And all equations that look like x equal a number, it's going to be a vertical line. Sooner you become familiar with the different types of linear equations, much easier it will become to graph them okay so x equal number is always a vertical line